What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to be doing some quick love readings for all the signs. I'm on the sign of Aries for December 2020. I'm going to be going over how this person feels about you. The purpose of the connection and the advice or actions moving forward for the sign of Aries for December 2020. Some of you guys have like a public image. You guys are really smart. Um, might have an ego, a little bit of pride, but none of those things have to be bad. It's just remembering where they come from and um, being honest maybe with yourself and other people because I think that pride and ego come from a place of you know, your subconscious trying to protect you, but in reality, it's kind of like blocking you from becoming your true self. And it kind of portrays someone that you might not necessarily really be. The song that came up for Aries was I Don't Think You're Ready by Tank. Uh, that's a pretty freaky song, so I don't know what y'all are doing, okay? But this person must be wanting to put it down down you know what I'm saying like all the way down um definitely feel like communication here um uh, some of you guys could be a Taurus with Aries rising because or you have a Taurus rising you know what I'm trying to say I think <laughs> But something to do with your 12th house for some of you guys. Um, the bottom three of cups. So this person is like in your soul tribe. Whether it's just as a friend or it's just kind of an unexplainable connection. Where you guys come from the same place. Maybe you didn't know that. Definitely star family. Definitely really close friends. Um, this person kind of shows you the parts of yourself maybe that aren't the greatest, but maybe tames the part of you that would otherwise take over because, you know, Aries is Mars and that's like intense, you know, um, you guys have the power to do really good things or be really destructive to the people that are closest to you because of your anger, because of maybe just how you express things at times. And I think that's Maybe there was a time where things were expressed in one way, but that's not really how each other felt. Um, because how this person feels about you, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So there could have been a connection, there could be children involved, but this person sees like the long marriage, family, kids. You know, I see a daughter for some of you guys. Um, as well as like three other kids and a dog. So what's up? You know what I mean? I think that this person wants to have children with you. We already you're already in that situation. Um, they just think that maybe sometimes you get mad and overreact because of so much Mars energy, because of who you are. But that's not necessarily like who you are, really though. Like underneath it all, you're very smart people. You're you're growing. You know maybe you're gaining more wisdom in your communication maybe you're nurturing the feminine energy that maybe you didn't have the lack thereof or just accepting the one in your life or the whatever their energy that we lacked as a child sometimes we overcompensate but i'm not gonna preach i'm just saying you're going through changes and it's okay to not feel like you have to be the best at all times when sometimes Maybe your friends just want you to, you know, drop the ego down a little bit and hang out or something. Maybe this person just wants to hang out with you and not have to go anywhere or worry about it. Um, you could be dealing with someone with the initials of R, W, B, or G, or um, J, I see L, N. Someone just feels like maybe you stopped trying. With the seven of wands, just feel like this person feels like you blocked them out. Maybe you did like block them literally and you're not even like you won't even look at them you won't even pay attention to them and um it's like they want this communication with you because they have like this vision for you but at the end of the day what something appears to be and what it really is maybe not be may not be maybe someone's very hyper focused on their career maybe someone 
um, is trying to work out a situation with someone that they're currently with. Um, maybe someone is not sure like who their friends are sometimes because um, maybe they were betrayed by some energy and this is kind of bringing that back. So I feel like the purpose of this communication was for you to grow a healthy love connection either with yourself or with another person the right way, you know, with a strong foundation, with someone who uh, shows you unconditional love with no limits, someone who um, connects with you on a completely other level where it's like next level, you know, like 5D above, you know, what it transcends this current dense. But they want... Um, the purpose of this was to show you that this love exists, that someone's willing to put the time in to watch it grow. Um, someone is trying to have patience with you because they, maybe they see you going through a lot, but it's just for you to, to plant these roots and, and to nurture it, take care of it as, as much in yourself as in another person so that this can be the, the hope and the dream that you had for this connection because, um, for some of you guys... You have a a battle sometimes with your heart and your mind, but it's like there's something like doesn't need to be said with this situation. Like this person knows, this person sends you love. This person has always loved you. Um, I think that, or maybe in you working on yourself, this is what you're working towards. But with the advice or the actions moving forward I feel like make sure that you're making decisions from a place that's fair and um, balanced and to take some time to tune into you know your intuition and a level of maybe consciousness that you've never felt before that it's real it's not something that's fake you know um, this was to show you, you know, your other half of yourself. And that can be scary to look at yourself mirrored in another soul. But it was something that was meant to be in your life. You know, this person is exactly your match. You guys are one half of each other. And this happiness, this bringing it all together is what's going to be in the future for this connection. And I think it's really going to be a combined family for some of you, or maybe you will be having, I don't want to say twins, <laughs> but there's a boy and a girl in the situ in this picture. Um, this is you finding the person that's meant for you. Some of you guys, it's just even in a friend connection. Some of you guys, it's um, maybe same sex. I'm not here to judge. You know, this is just, strong stable rooted not going anywhere they're not leaving you they never did um you know something you've dreamt of maybe or you brought into fruition um this is a part of your soul you know this is a soul connection that's really beautiful actually aries and there's a lot of confusion and uncertainty but i feel like Whatever you feel they they mirror, you know, whatever you're working on, they're working on. So maybe if you have been away from each other or someone kind of backed up or walked away, it's just because um, there needed to be something established within themselves first, you know. Um, keep control of that energy. It says, don't let anyone provoke you. They'll try. So don't let your, don't let your anger overtake your emotions because it's really important to keep them at a good place because you're manifesting things in. So you have to remember to keep that in check. Stop trying with certain situations where you know it's over with. Don't fight with your friends or siblings, you know, try to remain in a positive state. I know that you guys have been through a lot. You've had dark days. You've had been under a dark cloud. But this person knew from the first time that they saw you or that they, they felt this connection that, you know, this was something that was meant to be in their life. And they feel like you hurt their feelings. Maybe it's a mutual feeling. It says, I don't understand what's going on or how to fix it. It says, you see right through me. How do you do that? So it's like literally like you, there's just a level of understanding here. 
but maybe not a whole lot of communication. Maybe someone wanted to be successful in something first. Someone needed to find inner peace. Someone needed to travel or there's still a sense of traveling. Um, I think that this is really strong and intense and it might be too much for someone. I feel like maybe someone's not felt like they weren't ready for this connection in the past, but now seeing you in a different light, I think, um, someone just wishes you well, someone wishes you that the rest of the world saw you the way that they do, even if it's just on like a, a friend level, this person definitely, um, admires your confidence. This person's still very protective of you. This person, um, like misses like the good times you had, um, and like talking to you in the friendship. So that's just something to be aware of. Anyways, I hope this helps you out. Hope you have a good night. Bye.